A growing number of students on college campuses face food insecurity every day. To help tackle this hidden hunger, the interfaith community at Westfield State University opened a food pantry last year. Our Catholic Communications intern, Danielle McDonald, who is a senior at Westfield State University, visited the food pantry and brings us this update. We are making it easier for people on our community to make ends meet. Celeste Donovan, director of the TRIO program, has had the Common Goods Food Pantry up and running for four semesters now. With each semester, our use has grown. We have had increases in the numbers of students and staff and faculty who have used the space and increasing, number of, increasing numbers of visits every single semester as well. Located at the Second Congregational Church, Common Goods has served as a helping hand to those struggling to make ends meet within the Westfield State community. There is a common conception that if you've made it to college, you've made it and everything is taken care of and you do your studying and you live on campus and everything's fine. There is no typical college student anymore and that's not always the typical college experience by any stretch, uh, particularly at public institutions. That's true in Massachusetts, that's true across the country. Our hope in providing a space where non-perishable food items and personal care items can be provided and can be offered uh, bridges but one gap in the struggles that our students and our community at large faces. Common Goods is a discreet way for faculty and staff to obtain food and goods that they need. Being located inside the neighboring church, it is an easy way to stay unseen. We are very happy to facilitate the visiting process in any way possible. Other staff or faculty or students can visit the food pantry on behalf of another student or staff who does not want to come themselves or we will do private visits, private appointments, one-on-one -on -one to have a nice welcoming um, and safe session for the person to discover the space and discover how easy and simple it is to use it. We get uh, emails or personal visits to the Interfaith Center uh, from people who are looking uh, for food, staff and families and students. So it's a mix of, of uh, different people and groups, but we always do our best to respond. Father Warren J. Savage has worked with Celeste Donovan, the Interfaith Advisory Council, and other interfaith chaplains within the Westfield State community to build upon this response to a community need. The Catholic Church in particular has a vested interest in feeding the poor because that is a gospel mandate mm -hmm. to feed the hungry because in the hungry people we see the face of Jesus. So as a Catholic chaplain, the first thing that I must do is involve people with the gospel and to fulfill the gospel's mandate to feed the hungry. But as an interfaith center, we work with other faith traditions to also uh, serve the hungry. So we have our Jewish people and our Muslim people and our Catholic Christians and other Christians from other denominations participating in this Common Goods Food Ministry. Through the help of many volunteers and donations, Common Goods has been able to keep the shelves stocked for people, especially with the winter weather approaching. Winter times are very difficult for a lot of people, so our food pantry will probably be depleted, which means we are going to ask people on campus and off campus to provide more food supplies, non-perishable goods. And we also, at the Interfaith Center, during my masses on Sunday, we ask people to donate uh, gift certificates for people to buy turkeys or, or hams or, or whatever they can possibly give us to help offset those people who are in need. Common Goods is certainly the work of many hands. We have many volunteers through our staff, our faculty, and our student body, not to mention the support of our neighbor, the Second Congregational Church, to ensure that this place is running and running smoothly. And we're very grateful to everybody involved. I'm Danielle McDonald for Real to Real.